<laughs> Hi, everybody. Hope everyone's doing great. I'm doing good. I'm about to make dinner. So grateful for food and a full fridge. Ah, oh, that's the life. Um, I did have some, I, I, I do have a struggle that I have been not wanting to talk about. But you know what? I'm going to talk about it. <laughs> And I'm going to talk about it for a reason, just because um, sometimes, sometimes in recovery, um, we are, I am, I am very apologetic. Um, I'm very appeasing because I lived that life where I was horrible. I would not help anyone. Um, I was, I didn't like who I was. And so now in recovery, um, I try to do everything I can to try to help, you know, the next person. And, um, and, but I think we need to be really careful and remember there's a line. Um, there's a line. So, like, my experience lately, I'm going through a bad divorce. So I decided to get uncomfortable and to forgive and, you know, like just move on with my life. And so he gave me a list of the stuff he wanted. I got it all packed up. He came and he picked it all up. And um, I thought I did good. I've been praying for him and hoping he finds peace and I didn't want anything bad for him. I still don't. Um, and then since then, uh, he is, um, attacking me around every corner with, um, if, if I block him on one thing, he finds a way to get to me to another. And, um, so now he's convinced that I have this stimulus money, which I don't. <laughs> and, um, he's convinced, and I don't even... I filed single, like, because I'm single and separated. So even even if I do get my stimulus, I'm not going to get his part. And I tried to explain that. Um, and since then, it's been, you know, give me my money. I know you have my money. He's threatening me. He's threatened to burn down skate land. He's threatened to slash all the tires on my car. The people that he's living with harass me constantly. And I, I went to him and I said, look, I haven't been lying to you. Actually, I've been a really good wife to you this whole relationship. So if you could please remember, we're in an epidemic. And, you know, this is just adding a lot of stress to me. Like, I'm not doing you dirty. I'm not trying to keep your stuff. And if you could actually just give me a, a mailing address so I can send those divorce papers, you know what, you'll be done with me and, um, and you don't have to worry about me. And he refuses. He, uh, so I can't, I, I've decided, I, I didn't want to, but like now it's come to the point where I need a restraining order and, um, and I definitely want that divorce done and, um, now, like, part of me is scared that he's going to do something to me in Skateland. And then part of me says, you know, I want to believe the best in people and that that's not going to happen. And um, so it's just been a lot, you know, kind of on my head. But, um, but the thing is, is that I know that I'm standing um, on, in my morals. I know I'm standing in my morals and I know that I'm not trying to, you know, take anything or be dirty or, or be corrupt or, you know, um, and, and a huge part of me really does hope that, you know, that I've been able to plant a seed so that someday he can find happiness. Um, but now I'm at the point... I, I'm done being a doormat, you know, so, but, and the only reason I'm sharing this is because I think a lot of people, um, probably do go through the same thing, and I've decided, you know, one of the things that I know is that he wants me to live in fear, and so if I'm living in fear, 
he wins and I'm just a mess. You know what I mean? So I'm not going to live in fear. Um, if something happens, it happens. In the meantime, I'm going to be smart. You know, I'm going to be really smart. I'm going to be extra cautious and um, and take care of myself and and uh, and just uh, just keep praying. You know that uh, keep praying that <laughs> that this this ends peacefully. You know. Um, because that's all I want. That's all I want. So, but the good thing is, is that I know even when we were married, I did everything, every single thing in my power to try to help him. And it was a lot of heartache because you cannot help somebody. They have to be willing to help themselves. So, also, if you're out there doing that, you know, you might want to just kind of step back and um, and do you. Like, clean your own side of the street. Work on your stuff, you know, or that's what I do. Um, I'm working on me. I'm working on my stuff. And I'm working on recovering from, from this whole life, <laughs> You know, and staying on top and doing good and leading by example. So, um, but yeah, I'm not going to be a doormat and I'm not going to live in fear. That's just not me. And so I pray for not only my sake, but for my community's sake. They don't do anything to Skateland because it's been here since 1942 and it would just be, it would be a travesty, but, um, yeah, I'm powerless over it, you know, I'm powerless over it, so um, I'm just continuing to block and um, figure out another way to find the address to get the restraining order and everything, which I didn't want to do. I really didn't. Um, but, yeah, so sometimes we're left with no choice. We got to make hard choices, but we got to stay, I got to stay strong, and I have to stand by my morals. And, um, so that's what I'm going to do. Um, but so today was a little rough, but it's also really beautiful because I'm not going to live, I'm not going to live in that mess. So I'm going to, I'm going to keep moving forward. So, but I want to thank you all so very much. Just another beautiful day. All your beautiful comments, uh. I'd be lost without you. You, you, it's all of you that make me strong, that, that make me feel good. And, um, I just appreciate you all so much. I appreciate you so much. So on that note, things are going to be fine. I got this. It will be, it will all be good. <laughs> and, you know, life happens on life's terms. We just got to make better choices on how to handle it. So. All right, with that being said, keep on swimming. I love you with all my heart, and I will see you manana. Bye, guys.